Welcome to another episode of Yucky Nasty Bug Facts with your host, Hal Coleman. And now here's Hal with today's episode. Hello folks, this is Hal Coleman and welcome to another episode of Yucky Nasty Bug Facts. I want to talk to you today about a bug that is near and dear to my heart. One of my favorite bugs, cockroaches. That's right, cockroaches. I love them. I'm in the pest control business. They provide me a livelihood. Why wouldn't I love them? But most people don't. You know, most people won't even say the word cockroach. They say, well, I see these, these, uh, these palmetto bugs, these shiny black, these water bugs, these, you know, they don't want to say cockroach. I mean, it's just hard to say you saw a cockroach in your home, especially if somebody else saw it. Now, that's when it's really bad. But folks, they're in all homes. I was recently at a meeting where I asked a room filled with seasoned pest control veterans, bug killer guys from way back. I mean, they've been killing roaches for years. I said, what percentage of homes do you think you could find cockroaches in? And everybody said 100% of homes except one guy. He said 99% of homes. So you see, they're there. It doesn't have anything to do with your housekeeping. They're, they get into homes under cracks and crevices around door thresholds, windowsills, pipes, vents, cracks, louvers, eaves. They're attracted to the light at night. They come in and they're looking for food and water. So they're in your homes whether you know it or not. Now, I hear people often say, I don't mind seeing a few bugs in my house. I see a cockroach every now and then, but it doesn't really bother me. Well, should it bother you? I don't know. Let's look at some facts, some yucky, nasty bug facts. A few years ago in the University of Florida, they did a study and they found that up to 72 different types of bacteria were found on the feet of cockroaches. Cockroaches, dysentery, typhoid, salmonellosis, poliomyelitis, all of these can be spread with cockroaches. Now, let's take a look at the 72 bacteria found on the feet of cockroaches. Everywhere the cockroach goes, he tracks these bacteria, just like somebody walking across a carpeted floor with muddy feet. So you're asleep at night, he's hiding under the dishwasher, under the refrigerator, in a little crack and crevice behind the cabinets, gets dark, he comes out looking for food. Okay, you with me? Now if you get up and come walking down the hallway, it's like an earthquake to him. The whole house is shaking, so he's like, ugh. He gets out of there, you don't see him, so you don't think he's there. You go back to bed, he'll come back out again. Where is he going to find food? Where can he find a few crumbs and morsels to get him through the night? Well, one of his favorite places is inside your toaster. You know the little grate where you put your bread slices and the crumbs in there? Oh, he loves that. So he crawls down inside your toaster. This is a German cockroach. These love the inside of toasters, not only because of food, but the warmth in there also from the electrical circuit. Crawls down inside your toaster, the little grate. <laughs> licking that thing, getting it real clean, all those bacteria all inside your toaster where you put your bread slices. You with me? Then he comes out, he heads over to your can opener, your electric can opener. You know a little round blade that cuts into the can, covered in slime and food residue, that little washer on it, the little, yeah, you clean it, you think it's clean, but boy, he can, he can detect minute food particles. So he gets on your can opener blade, <laughs> Slimes, crud, bacteria all over your can opener blade. So the next time you open a can, yeah, you with me? Comes out of there, goes into your silverware drawer, tracks over your dirty dishes. If you got an open box of cereal, he may crawl down in there, crawl all around on your cereal, tracking the bacteria everywhere he goes. Eventually, he's on his way back. He says, oh, there's an apple, a banana sitting on the kitchen counter over there. He goes, crawls all over the fruit, gets a few nibbles here and there, get his last little dessert before he goes back to his hiding place. You wake up in the morning, you think everything's fine. Cockroaches shed their skin as they grow, and their shed skins have been proven to give off allergens similar to cat dander. There are a lot of people in homes with itchy eye, runny nose, sore throats, allergies, Tribute it to all kinds of things that actually is because they are allergic to cockroaches and they don't even know they got a cockroach in the house. So you need to get that checked out. Oh, I forgot to mention your gas grill. Go out to your gas grill sometime, 2 o'clock in the morning in the summer, especially if you have a vinyl cover over it. Just sneak up to it and go, shoo, lift it off and see what you see under there. 
Cockroaches, especially the big, huge, smoky brown cockroaches, like to live in that little cylinder that goes down to the bottom of your gas grill down to your tank. When the gas grill's cooking, you know, they're down in the bottom. They're, they're cool down there. They're hidden away. But at night, they come up and they love to feed on the grease and the food residue on the surface of your gas grill. They're all over it. They track the bacteria all over your gas grill. You come out there the next night with a big sirloin steak, you know, you're flipping that thing over and it's steaming and your mouth's watering. Boy, you're just cooking all that crud right into your steak. So if you go out there on your patio or your deck, especially if you leave pet food out there that's left over, cat food or dog food that draws the cockroaches, go out in the middle of the night, flip on the lights, and if you see cockroaches, you better get your pest management professional out there to get rid of them if you don't want to be exposed to all this bacteria. I mean, why would you? Have somebody come out and do a complete inspection of your home, attic, basement, cracks and crevices. See what they find because I'm telling you, you have cockroaches in your house, in the attic or the basement or somewhere. You just don't know about it. Some of you do, and you don't want to admit it, but they're there. Get somebody to check it out. If you have any questions, you can give us a call always at North Fulton Exterminating, 770-475-7419, unless you live in Anchorage or Tulsa or Cleveland or Ohio. We don't go to those areas. Anyway, thanks for listening to this episode of Yucky Nasty Bug Facts, and I'll see you next time. Bye.